Good morning guys from Guayaquil here in Ecuador. 2021 starts very special. First of all, my good friend Felix made it to Ecuador. Hola, oh. ¿qué tal? You probably already know him from some videos from the Philippines and South America that we did earlier in 2020. And today is a very, very special day because we are flying to the Galapagos Islands. Woo! That was always on top of my bucket list to visit the Galapagos Islands. And yes, we are gonna be scuba diving there. So I'm super excited. And thanks to the global pandemic that is currently ongoing, there's no tourists on Galapagos. So we're basically gonna have the whole Galapagos just for ourselves. And also another really good friend from Tulum, Mexico is actually joining the trip. Super stoked to see him again and now we're just gonna grab our stuff and head straight to the airport because we have to do a lot of things. To actually be able to visit the Galapagos Islands in 2021, there's a lot of regulations that you have to follow. And the first thing is you have to do a Corona PCR test. We did this test a couple of days ago. And yeah, the test is only allowed to be 96 hours old up on arrival on the Galapagos Islands. And yeah, we paid 90 US dollars to do the test here in Guayaquil. But now we have to head to the airport and finish packing up our stuff. And yeah, I'm super excited to see the Galapagos Islands. Woo! We slept right across the airport. The airport is right there and our hotel was right here. So it was quite a noisy night. The good thing about it, we don't need a taxi. We can walk to the airport. Yeah, and we have three more hours until our flight leaves. But because we have to finish so much of paperwork at the airport, they recommend you to be there three hours before departure. So keep that in mind if you want to visit the Galapagos Islands in 2021. Two thousand and twenty-one starts really good. I just found a five-dollar note on the sidewalk. Super nice. That pays my breakfast. We just got our TCT. This is our special visa for Galapagos, and we paid. 20 US dollars for this. Now we have to check in and then we're set to fly to Galapagos. We just made it through the check-in and now we're in the souvenir shop. We have to check if we can find some food. We are very hungry. We didn't eat today, but looks like everything is closed. But yeah, my friend from Mexico should be somewhere here. I've met with my good friend Kyle. What's up? Stoked. So Galapagos. Oh man, I haven't been able to sleep in days. <laughs> you might remember this guy from our video where we were free diving with this little um, cayman in the caves in Tulum. That was sick as well. Yo. What? This will be sicker. We just got ourselves some nice empanadas and yeah. 20 more minutes and then we are ready to board. Woo! Galapagos, here we come. I'm excited. Hola. Hola. Made it into the plane guys and now we have a one hour and 50 minute flight to the Galapagos Islands and we will be flying to the island San Cristobal and then we are gonna stay there for three nights and then we head to a different island. Yeah, sick. So, let's fly.
just touched down in Galapagos and the whole island looks so surreal from above. It's all volcanic and yeah, it looks so crazy, guys. And we also just flew above our dive site from tomorrow. Kicker Rock, one of Galapagos' best dive sites. Woo! And now we're leaving the plane. I'm so excited. There were no taxis at the airport, so we decided on walking to our Airbnb. Uh, it's 1.2 kilometers. Phew, and it's super hot here, guys. Whoa, it's insane. Luckily, Flix bought some sunscreen in uh, Guayaquil yesterday. We just made it into our Airbnb, checking in right now, and it's so hot, guys. I'm sweating so much. Oh, and look at this guys, we have a really beautiful pool over here. Sick! We just checked into our room and yeah, check out what you get for 20 bucks a night per person. Yeah, pretty spacious room and I'm gonna show you our bathroom as well. That's our bathroom. Pretty clean and nice and uh, check out this painting here on the wall. With these bad boys, we are hopefully gonna dive already tomorrow. I can't wait. We're heading to our dive school very soon to pay our trip. And yeah, check out our view. That's our little balcony we're having and Kyle is just down here. Hello, Kyle. Hey, buddy. Look at all these beautiful flowers. Yeah, the biodiversity here is insane. And this whole island consists out of lava rock because all of these no. islands were created through volcanoes, right, Kyle? You did a lot of research. Yeah, so all these islands basically uh, are different ages and they're all different stages of volcanoes. So some of them are super old and their own weight is making them crumble into the sea. Uh, some of them are brand new and super active. And then the ones that are in the middle life that have kind of stopped being active and they can sort of harbor a vegetation and nature. So now uh, that's what we're gonna go check out. Those are the ones that we can see. Maybe yeah. the volcano too, yeah. if we can. We'll do some exploring. <laughs> and dive in tomorrow. But yeah, now we're heading to our dive school. Just on our way to our dive school and check out all of these rocks right here. It's all lava. What's the place going to? Three. Woo! Cheers, boys! Galapagos! We just made it to our dive shop, trying on the gear for tomorrow and afterwards we're heading straight to the beach to do some snorkeling, right? Straight to the beach. Straight to the beach. With straight Kylo. Yeah. <coughs> How long would you recommend us to stay on this island? Tres días. Hoy, María, todos, todos tortugas y vámonos. Jesus Christ. Isla Isabella is muy... <coughs> Then you want to try the lunch, maybe? No, I think this is good. Because... Where's your girl is? Oh, Jesus. This is like a little merman. A cock is like... Don't be right now. now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, maybe this is... Maybe I need a lunch as well. You sure? Yeah. Yeah, we just finished our stuff here at the diving school. And now we're heading to the beach to see some sea lions, and some marine iguanas and all sorts of exciting animals. I can't wait. <laughs> and actually, really funny thing, there is a huge Christmas tree right in front of us here at the coast. Looks so surreal. <laughs> but unfortunately, our dive guide told us that the visibility is not that great at the moment. But we have a very big chance of seeing some hammerhead sharks tomorrow. So that's exciting. <laughs> Simon, look at right here, buddy. First oh, fucking thing. Oh, nice. Look at their baby. The first sea lions, guys. Oh, with a baby. This is the best day already, guys. Look, they. Oh my God, they are all over the beach. <laughs> yeah, that's that's how they sound like. <laughs>
These are the very famous marine iguanas from Galapagos, guys. In about five minutes, we saw so much wildlife. It's just incredible here on Galapagos. And now we're trying to get up close with the sea lions because there over here at the beach, you can enter the water. And we just want to uh, snorkel a little bit. And yeah, I'm gonna switch to my GoPro right now and maybe I will get some shots of uh, some sea lions. <laughs> Look guys, it's Charles Darwin. He's a little friendly. Yeah. <laughs> and that's a huge tortoise. That's Galapagos. That's what the islands are named after. We just tried to enter the beach behind us, but unfortunately the entrance is blocked by these guys. Uh. So cute. <laughs> I'm excited to jump into the water now and uh, chill out with the sea lions. Whew, Galapagos was already worth it, guys. Hey, buddy. <laughs> so, we're just cha we changed into our swimming trunks. Oh, there's so much sea lions. You have to be careful that you don't step on them. And yeah, we're going in for a little swim. <laughs> I'm so, I'm so stoked for this. Woo, Kylo. It's, a little, it's a little chilly, but it's worth it. Wow, it is chilly. <laughs> crazy. Uh oh. Get up, get up. <laughs> the big one is coming for you now. <laughs> Just so you can see how close these guys are actually coming, they're right here in front of us playing. <laughs> Oh, are they mating? I don't know. Uh oh. Oh, he's a big one. Hey. Get off my boat. Get off my boat. You got a license? Just where it was needed. So guys, we just went for an amazing swim with some epic sea lions. It's easy to say that this has been the best day of this year. <laughs> it's the 2nd of January, guys. But yeah, it's crazy, man. This place keeps on delivering. You need to come to Galapagos. Like, swimming with the sea lions, it was just so surreal. One was always trying to play with me. This place is just so surreal. Check how close the uh, sea lions are actually coming up. And yeah, that's because they have no natural predators here in Galapagos. So they're completely friendly, all of the animals. Look at this marine iguana right behind me. <laughs> hey, buddy. It's insane. And these marine iguanas are very, very special because they're actually living off seagrass. So they're diving. And yeah, maybe we have a chance to see some of them while we're scuba diving as well. Sometimes if you watch these marine iguanas, they snort out some, uh, salt. some salt. Kyle, our BBC <laughs> narrative is gonna explain. 
So these iguanas have evolved because they need to live off the, sea, the seaweed here. So there's two different kinds of seaweed that they eat. And their nose has evolved so they can get closer to the rock. Their claws have gotten stronger so they can hang on to the rocks underwater. And they've also shrunken in size. And they can't actually take in the salt. So what they do is they shoot snot, salt snot rockets out of their nose. It's kind of gross, but it's amazing. <laughs> and that's how they get out of the way. That's how they get rid of the extra salt. Crazy evolution, guys, that is happening here in the Galapagos Islands. Yeah, and there's so much sea lions everywhere. Here's one, there's one, there's one, there's one, there's another one. It's just paradise. Whew, I actually didn't imagine it to be that nice. All my expectations are already exceeded. Whew, by far, actually. Right? Yeah, look at this one. This one looks like a dog. We just left the sea lions at the beach and now we came here to this little local restaurant and now we are gonna have the, what was it called again, Kai? Menu, menu del dia. It's the menu of the day. It comes with soup, juice, and then something with rice and beans, usually chicken. For five bucks. Five bucks. That's a bargain. Good deal here in Galapagos. I thought the food is gonna be way more expensive here. We are actually pretty lucky because the Galapagos Islands are very affordable at the moment. The flights only cost us in total with return $400 and uh, for the whole accommodation we spent nearly $200 US so $600 for accommodation and flights and yeah sick. Just the tours are quite expensive. If you want to do a day tour, you have to calculate around 100 to 200 US dollars. But let's see what we are gonna have for lunch or dinner. We just got served a soup and also some nice mango juice. Good one, guys. Nom nom. Nom nom. And here the last dish, some rice and some fried chicken with I don't know, Chicken. maybe mashed potato? That's mashed potatoes. It is? Yeah, it was. For five dollars, that was a really delicious <laughs> lunch. And uh, now we're heading back to our Airbnb and check out this little puppy here. A long day comes to its end. We finally made it back into our Airbnb and there's a very, very beautiful sunset just going on right here. But unfortunately, the view is a little bit blocked. And yeah, guys, I would say before it's getting dark here, I will end the video. Thank you so, so much, guys, for watching this video. Tune in into the next one and don't forget not to like this video and do not subscribe to my youtube channel thank you for watching see you in the next one peace